Tonight, Carlsbad residents are keeping a close eye on the Pecos River. The storm flooded homes, and there are fears more rain could overwhelm the river as well. As Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer shows us, that's not the only problem the town is dealing with. This is one of the many roads closed here in Carlsbad. If you look over this way here, you can see clearly why that is. Gallons of water rush out by this bridge near San Jose Boulevard in Carlsbad. Parts of it have buckled and caved in after the heavy rain and flooding that's pounded southeastern New Mexico. Eddie County asked some people to evacuate. This is the desert, and we just got dumped on <laughs> again. Now, the big concern is for the Pecos River. It crested early this morning, but if more rain comes, it could mean more problems for the many people who live along its banks. It's really scary because I don't know how much more water is going to come. Priscilla Walsworth lives near the Pecos River with her family. The water is slowly creeping closer to the front door. If you just look over here behind me, you can see about how fast that water is actually moving and rushing down the hillside here and into her her backyard. Walsworth and her family are sticking it out for now, but they're worried they'll have to head to drier ground if the rains return. Eddie County tells us it's too early right now to tell how much these repairs may cost, but it could be quite a bit. Reporting Carlsbad, Mike Springer, KOAT Action 7 News. Schools in Carlsbad were closed today but are expected to reopen tomorrow. Because of the flooding, officials want anyone who lives along the Pecos to boil their water just as a precaution. And a Red Cross shelter is still open tonight at Carlsbad High School on Church Street for anyone who needs it. About two dozen people stayed there last night.